Diane in Denmark here, ra ra ra. I hope you're fine and well this morning. Very dark here this morning, Copenhagen. It's raining. I don't know if you can hear that. But anyway, you know what I would say, we, we make our own sunshine and we've got the uh, candles going so where we're keeping it here. Uh, and I haven't put up the bright lights in the kitchen yet. And I, I like to keep things kind of uh, dark. And then when, when I'm working, you know, I have the full lights going. If you didn't see it the other day, I've made a new uh, video about my morning routine, my morning routine in the winter, where I like to keep things cozy. I'll put a link up there. Anyway, uh, what we're we doing today, we are back prepping for our celebration or our event. I'm prepping for Christmas and I'm using the Fly Ladies Cruising Through the Holidays missions to, to keep me on track. Uh, and as I said, I'm prepping for Christmas, so I'll be telling you about, you know, what I've been uh, buying in the shops recently. But remember, you can use these missions to plan anything, whether you're planning for Thanksgiving, Ramadan, Hanukkah, uh, 50th uh, birthday party. So, so you, you may be watching these videos in April thinking, well, what, what's all the kind of uh, Christmas food going on? Anyway, uh, grab yourself a cup of coffee, glass of water, maybe a notebook and a pencil. If you've already printed this out or if you've already started your own uh, file folder, good and well. But this is mine. I've been using this since 2006. But the main idea here is that, that we're making the prep, the planning for it, um, doable and, and, you know, hopefully fun for you. So anyway, let's uh, hold up. My, my beads aren't high and straight. I'm having a fairly modern Millie moment here this moment, this morning. So these are the missions from 16 to 20, and in all there are 30 missions. There will also be uh, super cruising missions in the month of December, in case you kind of feel like you've missed the boat. But anyway, uh, eyes down for a full house. So, and remember, these missions, they may not apply to you, they may apply to you. You don't need to worry about things. Just take what, what you need and, and use that, and don't worry about the rest. So anyway, mission number 16, is another clean and fling mission, which means that when you're doing your weekly clean, uh, whether you do a power hour or the Fly Ladies weekly home blessing hour, uh, I've got links for that. I'll put that up in my it's in my cleaning lists. Whenever you're doing your cleaning this week, just think you know soon your guests will be here. You'll maybe be putting up decorations. Uh, Wham will be on the the radio and Mariah Carey. So. Just have a little think. What, what will visitors see when they come into your house? If they came into your living room, what would they see? Uh, it might be useful for you to take some uh, photos because quite often taking a photo just gives you that step back of, of seeing things through somebody else's eyes. Uh, and somebody commented, was it last week or the week before, it's quite useful to take a mirror and kind of look back in, in your room to, to give you a different perspective. So anyway, uh, anything that needs to go out in recycling, uh, anything that's obvious rubbish or trash, let's, let's get out of the house as soon as possible. Mission number 17 uh, fits in with the Fly Ladies Plan and Play Day. Last time we were talking about planning menus, uh, whether it's for Thanksgiving, whether it's for Christmas, and I just want to say here, if, you're, you're, if you've got both Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up, go ahead and put it in the same uh, file folder. I mean, you can have one page for your Christmas menus, one page for your Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, you know, you can keep it both in the same, you can be planning, you know, uh, for, for, for the same um, period of time. Um, but anyway, for, for this week's um, mission number 17, think about anything that you're gonna need for your celebration dinner. You know, maybe you're using these missions to plan a wedding. Uh, do you need any kind of uh, accessories for the table, you know, serviettes? Do you need to uh, shine your can silver candelabras, you know, who, who knows? Um, what about, uh, do, do you need to borrow anything from family? Are you having a big family dinner and you need to borrow some plates and cups? You're just, you don't need to do it right now, but just, just get it down onto your list. Um, mission number 18. Now, this is one... Uh, for the kids looking into their toy boxes. Set, set the timer for five or ten minutes and get your kids to look through their toys and, and don't say to them, you know, you're not doing the whole room, but maybe just take five minutes and do one box at a time. You're looking for any uh, games which are missing pieces and maybe jigsaw puzzles that have lost their pieces. I mean, there's plenty of crafts that you can do with those, but don't, don't start getting on, uh, don't start doing crafts now. What we're looking for is just to reduce the amount of clutter that's in the kids' rooms. 
especially if like us, you know, it's, it's Christmas time and maybe there'll be some toys coming in. We, we need to make sure there's some toys going out. And if your kids have difficulty with letting go of things, something that really helps uh, for my kids, when my daughter was, oh, I don't know, like eight, eight or nine years old, uh, she had this huge collection of uh, plushies that they were all uh, dogs. She loves, uh, you know, soft toy dogs. And she had like, it, it, you know, they were beginning to spill out all, all of the containers that we had. And what we did was, and instead of saying, you know, you have to get rid of this one, we, we just went through and said, which, which are, uh, like, let, let's say she had like 45 dogs. We said, okay, which are the 15 ones that you really love the most, the ones that you play with all the time? And the other ones we boxed up and I took her with me when we went to the charity shop uh, down the road and she brought them in and the ladies in the charity shop were like, oh, wow, you know, what, what lovely dogs. And one of them said to her, you know, do you realise one of these dogs is going to be somebody else's favourite dog in the whole world? And my daughter understood that the things that she wasn't playing with, uh, they could be handed on to somebody else that would love them, you know, and cherish them, just like she loved, you know, she, she's got a couple of dogs uh, called Doggy and Dogger that followed her everywhere. That that was really a big eye opener for her. So, you know, uh, encourage your kids to move on from things. Maybe things are a bit babyish for them. But anyway, that, that's the mission for uh, mission number 18. Go into the toy boxes and see what, what can be given away. Uh, or maybe you can re-gift it to somebody else. You know, the, the charity shops are looking for, for all these kind of things right now because not everybody can afford to go out buying uh, brand new toys. And we've got to, so much anyway. Uh, and if you don't have kids, uh, maybe you want to go into your stash of magazines, uh, books, or just newspapers that are hanging around. You know, wh wh whatever is your thing that you're clinging on to, maybe you can have a look at that. Okay, uh, next one, mission number 19, Erin Day. And I've been out doing some uh, errands, buying some stuff that we always uh, eat at Christmas. Uh, what do you need to pick up this week? Get it down on your errand day list. You don't need to go out and get it today, but when you're making your errand day list, do, are, you, are you still needing to stock up with uh, wrapping paper? Remember, I always use generic wrapping paper. I don't buy stuff that says, you know, Christmas or baby christening. I use um, white or gold or silver paper and just put different ribbon on it. Uh, maybe you need to stock up with uh, some plies like uh, coffee, uh, talk about this all the time, toilet paper. We're in zone three in Fly Lady Land this week if you're following the Fly Lady zones for cleaning. So uh, maybe just even things like shampoo, have you got that on your list? You don't want to run out of that over, uh, over, the, over Christmas or whatever celebration it is you have. Uh, now, I'll I tell you what I've been uh, stocking up with this week. Uh, coffee, we always like to make sure we've got coffee. And here we are, just, uh, this is one that I bought in Sweden. We were in Sweden at our Swedish cabin at the weekend. Uh, and just to point out, because I, I, I know you all love learning a bit of Danish or Swedish. Uh, go Yule, God Yule. Uh, God does not mean God. Uh, God means good in, in Danish and Swedish. And Yule is like uh, Yule time, so Go Yule means happy, Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas. And this is coffee. Now, I don't know what is different about this coffee, but it says it's uh, the Swedish um, coffee of the year for, for Christmas, Christmas coffee. So anyway, that, that's one thing um, I picked up this week. Uh, also Danish marzipan. I, I like to buy a few boxes of sweets. Let me just grab another one. Oh, here's another. This was a, a cookbook that I borrowed from the library the other day. And there's the name of it. God, here we are, God Mad. And God Mad does not mean a mad god or a realm of the mad god. Uh, it just means good food. Mel, Mel means food. Uh, and Go means uh, good. So Go Mel, God Mad, good food. It's a cookery book. Here we go. Uh, yeah, and, and I like to keep a, a few boxes of uh, chocolates on hand. They, these are Swedish ones, Faser mints, I'm sure you all know Faser mints. Uh, and these are Danish ones, Anton Bear. These are mar marzipan with um, plum inside. Is it plum? Blommer? Yeah. Uh, and what I do is I like to have a few of these on hand. I wrap them up now, like here and now. I wrap them up and, and I don't put any name tags on it. 
But if suddenly we need, uh, you know, a gift, if we're going to somebody's house, uh, or if one of the kids needs um, a small gift for a pack and lie or for a secret Santa, we've always got something on hand. So maybe when you're out this week, you may want to stock, on, stock up on a few little things. Uh, and here's some other funny things that um, we see in game shops right now. Another one, Yule, Yule Scum. Now, scum in Danish, scum is the Danish word for marshmallow. And you can see here, these are meant to be marshmallow shaped Santa Claus. Uh, but I, I just like that the Danish word for marshmallow is scum. Does anybody want some Christmas scum? Yule Scum? Yule Scum. Uh, Yule Scum. And this is a classic in our house. Let, let me just let me just open it up. Hold on. Now you'll often see these if, if you go to somebody's house at Christmas and they've got a selection of homemade sweets and uh, they're they're little chocolate discs and they've got hundreds and thousands on them and they've got little holes in them so you can actually thread through a wee piece of ribbon and hang them up. Uh, looks really cool and they don't taste great and I mean they really taste if I'm honest pretty awful but it's just one of those things that we have to have at Christmas so anyway we've got some of those going uh, and also I picked up when I was in Sweden this weekend uh, some boxes of Aladdin chocolates now Aladdin here we are if you want to see what's inside them uh, Aladdin chocolates they, these are the first if I remember rightly they're the first ever uh, selection box of um, Swedish chocolates. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here we are, right. 1939 was the first uh, box of, um, a selection box of chocolates of Aladdin. Anyway, a bit like, you know, uh, in, in Britain, if you remember Black Magic Box or, or Dairy Milk, my, my granny always used to have a box of chocolates on top of her uh, wardrobe because, you know, she, she would get them and she would put them on the top of the wardrobe. And when me and my brother went to stay at my granny's, she would tuck us in to, to the bed. And, you know, in those days, there was like 20 different uh, covers and uh, pillows and whatever. And, you know, my granny would tuck us in and we were like that. And then you woke up the next morning and you were in exactly the same position because you were so weighted down by all the blankets. Anyway, my granny would always let us have a chocolate before we went to bed. So I've, I've got fond memories of that, of granny's box of chocolates on top of the wardrobe. Anyway, back, back to the point, um, I, I've bought a couple of boxes of these and what I also do is I wrap these up and this is what I give to uh, my family in Scotland because these days we're, we, we don't bother uh, giving gifts any longer, we, we just give a little token gift and uh, perhaps give each other um, a gift voucher because you know we, we've all got everything that we need so so for you know for, for like my mum uh, and I take her a box of Swedish chocolate something that she can't get in Scotland and anyway uh, oh and one last thing because these were on offer this week and then this is for me they're all for me uh, these are um, special Amarena cherries uh, Amarena Fabri uh, and they're super expensive but at this time of year they're always on offer because the Danes uh, have this kind of tradition of always having this. They quite often use it to make cherry sauce, which goes on the pudding for Christmas. Uh, as part of Christmas Eve, we have um, Yulaf and we have uh, Risalaman, which is um, a creamy pudding. Thing. Now, I've, I've made a, a video about that, about how to make it in the cherry sauce. And also there's a game where we hide a full almond, a whole almond, in the, in the pudding and whoever finds it uh, gets a prize or a thing. Anyway, I've made a video about that before if you're interested in Danish uh, Christmas traditions. But the family are not really into these. Uh, they're, they're, there's no alcohol in them. They just taste really, really rich. They're in a really, really thick um, syrup. Uh, shall we open them? Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let, let's open them. Hold on. I mean, it is only 44 days to Christmas. Hold on. Right, hold on. I've, I've also taken off my cream jacket. I don't want to be uh, splashing, splashing this on them. Right, here we are. And you see here, they're very, very dark cherries. And what I do is, like my own little advent calendar to myself, I eat a couple of these every day. I just love them. They're also really great 
if you know you put them in a bottle in the bottom of um, a champagne glass and top up with some uh, champagne or uh, spumante or cava or you know whatever you've got uh, so anyway that's that and back to the uh, back to the fly lady missions oh now i've got hundreds and thousands here uh, mission number 20 um check your gift list do you need to get any online orders um uh, you know completed i told you before that I, i'm doing i was thinking of doing a photo book uh, for my mum this year you know with photos of us and the kids but actually an, an offer came through um for a christmas calendar so that's what we're going to be doing for her so that, that's what i need to really get finished this weekend i know i've been saying that for the last two weeks uh also I, again think about your budget for these things do you need to be giving uh huge gifts to everybody can you maybe just give a token gift uh you know or some nice coffee it doesn't have to be these huge gifts all the time and what else was it going to do? Oh yeah, uh, and, and one other thing, which is not a fly lady, something that I'm going to be doing this week is putting up our Christmas fairy lights. Uh, now in Denmark, we don't do the kind of flashy flashy with all the sounds and the moving uh, Santas and the reindeers on the roof. Well, of course, there are some people that have that. In, generally speaking, in Denmark, we have white lights and you can put them up from now, uh, mid-November, and we have them all the way through to February because they don't look, they don't scream uh, Christmas at you. But it's really nice here, especially as it's so dark now in the afternoons. I mean, it's dark by 4.30 in the afternoon. The next, uh, ne by next month, it'll be dark by three o'clock in the afternoon. And it's not bright until 8, uh, 8.30 in the morning. So, or even nine o'clock in the morning uh, in the month of December. So I'm going to be going out this week to put out our, uh, we've got some fairy lights that I put around the, uh, the deck here. And I've also got some at the front of the house. I won't be switching them up on this week, but I will be putting them out this week because you never know, suddenly the weather changes. Uh, we may have snow. Uh, so, and so, and so that's on my uh, list for, for this week. So anyway, I think I covered that. Oh yeah, and also for my errand list this week, I want to add a bottle of uh, Advoca. Do you know Advoca? The, um, it's a Dutch, uh, very thick, eggy, um, what do you call it, liqueur. Uh, and we, we like to have it, you mix it up with some lemonade and you call it a snowball. That's, that's nice. another nice little drink to have if you don't want to have uh, one of these with an amarena cherry in it. So anyway, uh, I better get going So I like to keep my videos to 15 minutes. Uh, I hope you're getting on well with whatever thing that you are prepping, whether it is uh, Christmas, Goyule, or whether it is, uh, as I said, Thanksgiving, Ramadan, Hanukkah, baby shower, whatever it is. Just, just make it hygge for yourself, make, make it cosy for yourself, and hopefully you're enjoying the prep this year and you're not kind of feeling overwhelmed by it. So anyway, on that note, all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish ho 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 hygge be with you and I'll see you very soon. Bye.